I'm CT. When I'm not hosting podcasts, look, man, I live in the real world. Everybody has to work, right? Well, my job is CS, customer service, solutions, relationships, and generating motivation to keep my team pumped up and totally connected to every single guest that comes into our store. It's important. I got to have them come back. That's what it's all about. The secret to the sauce or success is relationship. This is CTCS, episode number 51, Beer, Theft, and Body Aches. And so another chapter of CTCS is about ready to be written. You never know what you're going to write about. You never know what you're going to experience. Which guest is going to come in with the greatest story that proves to be false. But it's customer service. And you have to listen to every story. Uh, I need this transition walk today. I did uh, four mind-blowing interviews. Um, I'm running so so behind. And of course that raises the anxiety level. I can't carry this this weight into that store today because when you're on the edge and people are going to put you on the edge even more, got to have a cleared mind. Got to have a cleared mind. You know, it's one of those things where you talk about how you're having a real crap-ass day and uh, you step into the world of of the grocery store business and you realize, you know what, my crap-ass day is not as bad as what they're going through. New guy Bill is out here getting carts and uh, from what I understand, the new assistant manager just sucks. Okay, positive attitude, positive attitude. Oh, self-motivation here. We just got a phone call that... uh... Do you hear that in the background? They're actually fighting over an aisle number two. Listen. This is pretty bad. Okay, we got we to get into this. This is going to get into a bad mess here. Okay, here's an update on the fight that broke out in the lane, and that is that it started over at the deli, and it was because the older gentleman was screaming at the the, uh, the employee that she wasn't moving fast enough and she wasn't giving him enough and stuff like that. So a guy came up and said, look, be nice to people. Just be nice to people. So then it stretched over into the actual uh, next lane, and then finally it broke out big time in self-checkout. So that's when people had to step in, and they had to separate them both and, and get them out of the store and escort them both to their cars individually. We just got word that the Queen of England has passed away. Wow, that's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. This is going to be interesting. Because this like... Uh, Charles is next. The crooked son, that's why yeah. I call him. <laughs> the crooked son. He don't like Harry. But they want to live a normal life. Right, right, but, right. Um, wow. That's sad. Very sad day. Very sad day. In the radio industry to which I came from, we didn't have name tags. I mean, we had badges that would get us into different rooms and stuff like that. But like I've always said, you know, this is my very first real job in life. It just took me 43 years to get here. Um, So I forgot my name tag in the truck, and it's like it's like the world has caved in, because it's like, oh my god, CT, where is your name tag? Do I need to make one up for you? And it kind of reminded me of what it was like in in martial arts, is that, you know, as an instructor, when I have a student that wouldn't wear their belt, well, we brought out the pink belt and that's what they wore in class there is nothing worse than that moment when a um, someone from the register number one comes back from their break and you counted their till while they were gone and uh, they're 33 dollars short and you've got to talk to them about it and it takes a lot of confidence and courage to be able to you know maintain and just ask regular questions did you by accident give somebody a 20 or more or did anybody get any money from you what what was going on uh at at your till and the thing is is that we will have uh, cameras that'll go in there and look at what was going on and we'll, we'll figure it out but i always feel for the employee because the employee is going oh my god oh my god Here's an update on the missing money from register number one. What happened is, is that we went back and looked at everything, every transition that's taken place, and she took a check for the exact amount that is missing. Here's the thing. Where's the check? So now we have to figure out, uh, was there a physical transition of the check? Uh, was it thrown away? We've got to go in there and try to figure out what exactly happened to the check. Here's an update on that uh, the missing money on register number one. I went over and I looked for the check. We did find the check. Um, the check was uh, was positioned in an area where I don't know how it got there. All of a sudden, mysteriously, it's there. And but it's still the thing is, is that it doesn't cover the missing cash. And that's that's the thing about it is that it's you know you can you can give me a check all you want thirty eight eighty one or whatever it is, and then and then but but still the register was missing a lot of money thirty plus dollars uh, cash, and that's what we've got to figure out. 
a man and his wife steps up to the register and he goes, dude, dude, any moment now, I'm going to be a father. I'm going to be a father. And, and we're sitting there and we congratulate him and everything like that. He says, my number one goal right now is not to figure out what my, my son's name is going to be. I want to tell the world's greatest dad jokes. And we're going, okay, work it out on us. And he goes, well, yeah, I'd like to tell you an airplane joke, but I don't know how it's going to land. Hmm. Hmm. Pause, pause. I would like to tell you an airplane joke, but I don't know how it's going to land. I'm sure this is going to sound conceited, headstrong, over the top. Today wasn't supposed to be what what it turned out to be this morning. And, you know, I've, I've explained before that I host many podcasts. And I have to be in that studio by a certain hour or the podcasts don't go on. And, and that's a job. Yes, it's making money. And today, I because I was uh, invited to voice over two commercials, uh, that, that was top priority. That meant that I was going to have to set aside the podcast. But, man, I don't know how I did it. Maybe it's just through true focus, dedication, loyalty. Uh, working at a grocery store for nine hours a day. <laughs> I was able to get all of the podcasting done, get the commercials produced and all that kind of stuff too. And now I'm on the transition walk. This is where I shut off all digital devices and we got to go into a place where where I got to get prepared to go into CS, customer service. Because it's a Friday. It's really kind of the first week of fall and people are in a mood. They're in a mood. And I've got to remain positive during their moments of negative. Day number two of a four-day weekend uh, pretty much uh, starts off very busy. I'm, you know, you've got Western Union now, and you've got RIA, and I just did my first RIA. And, uh, man, they come in with some cash. And, you know, as you have to look at every single $20 bill, $5 bill, $100 bill. Check it out and make sure that it's real, especially when they've just handed you 2000 bucks without even blinking an eye. But, man, uh, people are uh, definitely in a kind of a Friday spirit, but it's not a wild Friday spirit yet. But it's coming. It all always is this 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 is our store and it, it's one of those things that collects some really weird stuff opening season for pro football this weekend and uh, one of my things about about working with the guests and stuff like that is you you've got to have a conversation starter and my conversation starter is going to be the football teams that they have proudly displayed on their shirts on their jackets on anything that they're wearing and, and that means doing some homework that means i better know who their quarterback is i better know who their running back is and you know and what what the scores have been during like the preseason and stuff like that. You know, it's show prep. It's, it's no different than radio, man. If you're going to engage people and get people to come back because they like the way that you do things, you've, you've got to do grocery store prep. It's going to be a very interesting night tonight. One of our managers are out, one of the big guys, and so they've got a, a manager on duty coming in from a completely different store, and uh, that usually means that all the rules change at once. And you wonder, will will they play our game, or do we have to play their game? Will things be roughed up a little bit? Hopefully there's a lot of communication going on, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a different playing field tonight. Back here at the store tavern, we have a bar inside of our grocery store, and uh sitting here talking to the distributor of, of, of this beer that just arrived in a keg, Atomic Pumpkin. Can you imagine Atomic Pumpkin? That in itself sells. That's marketing right there. But see, I can't taste it because I'm in CS until until 10 p.m. tonight and the bar closes at 8 o'clock. So somehow, some way, I've got to figure out what Atomic Pumpkin is. So if, you, if you've got it where you are, you got to hit me up. Send me an email, okay? Arrow at gmail.com. A-R-R-O-E at gmail.com. Arrow C at gmail.com. I'm still amazed at how many textures of people there are in our community in the way that, you know, sure, we talk about those that come in and they kind of white fib it uh, when it comes to, you know, taking things back and stuff like that. And we, we, we run into those that, that steal a lot of merchandise. But this, this woman that came in here a few minutes ago, um, Barbara, um, was telling me that she, she and her husband uh, just spent five years in Guatemala as volunteers to help families, to get them out of the mountains and try to get them into homes. And just to hear her story and to hear the passion that she put into that. And I said, well, what was it like to come back home? She says, I miss them. I miss those people so much. We were always helping them. Transition walk day number three. Boy, I need this one today. Hear the crow in the background? It's been raining all morning. It's one of those early fall storms. Hey, I looked something up today that I thought was pretty interesting. Um, Mindfulness versus moodiness and just something to plant. Mindfulness is about being in the presence of now, like these transition walks, an intention walk, something that puts you here and no place else. Whereas moodiness is an evaluation. And so it's what you do is you evaluate everything that's been going on and it causes that mindset. 
So, you know, something to grow from, especially if you're on your way to retail today or a job that you don't like. Today is one of those days that I, I thought were long gone. And what I mean by that is, is that, CT, where are you? CT, where are you? CT, where are you? And it's like, look, if I'm in the store, that means I'm doing something. I'm helping out a guest. I'm picking things up off the floor. CT, where are you? And little, that's, that's a trigger to me, man. Um, don't get on the microphone and do that. Um, I'm coming. I'm coming. Just got word that the deli will be uh, closing at uh, 7 p.m. this evening. They're supposed to be open until 9. And uh, it being a... A Saturday night closing at 7 o'clock. That means we're going to have some customers tonight that are going to expect some extra special treatment because, you know, they, they're, they're used to closing at 9. We presently have something happening over in self-checkout. Uh, the man that's on the registers uh, says that uh, the, the guests did not uh, pay for the pizza and other things from the deli, and he's very vocal. The man said, I did it twice, I did it twice, and the person on the register is saying, you didn't pay for anything. So it's uh, it's, it's amazing. Uh, that it, it's very vocal. Is, is it going to be if, is it going to lead to to an actual fist fight here? I'll be back. We've got every manager in the center of this ring uh, trying to figure out exactly what's going on. And uh, basically what we need to do is we need to run a check on every uh, the past five to ten different uh, um, transactions that have taken place here. Because the guy is really upset saying that he did do it. He did. And, uh, and whoa, man, man, you can't push anybody here. So, uh, but that's the situation. They're, they're going to check the transaction list and find out what's really going on here. But this guy is really upset. What seemed like a very heated situation has mellowed out now. Uh, they've gone back to look at the transactions and things like that. Uh, the guy did not, did not pay for the pizza. Um, you know, no reason to call the cops or anything like that. But, I mean, I, I can understand his fight because he wanted to get away with it. And uh, and they said, well, where's the pizza's at? And he just, he, he, he literally looked at him and said, I ate it. And that's how it ended. The different layers of a full work day. I see our guests before their college team hits the field. And what's so strange, and, and this really, maybe it's just a Southern thing, but after after the, the college game is over, they come back to the store and do even more shopping. So it's fun to talk to them. You know, hey, so what do you, what do you think is going to happen? Do you, you think, you know, your quarterback is going to speed up a little bit? And then, then like right now, people that are coming into the store at uh, 8 o'clock, uh, the game is over, and, and they're talking about the game. And I'm, I'm, we talked about this before. You've got to talk sports. You've got to talk about where the passion is, and then people tend to come back into your community store. I recently received a question from somebody who checks out CTCS, and the question was, you always talk about your transition walk when you're going to work, but do you take a transition walk after you get home, after putting in nine hours? And I thought, wow, what, what a great idea. You know, maybe I should try that. And then last night on the way home, there was strong storms here, strong storms. And I used that as an excuse that I wasn't going to record a transition walk after nine hours on my feet at a grocery store. And let's, let's be transparent here. I'm not really sure you need to hear the body breaking down after being on my feet for nine hours because if you are in retail or any type of a job where you are on your feet all the time, those first steps out of the car just to get into the house, it's the hardest part of the whole damn day. There's like a, a ritual that I do as I get out of the car. It's like grab all the trash out of the car so you can put it away. Get your mindset in order. Check, make sure the car is locked. Check the parking lot out and see what's going on, what the vibe is. The pro games are on today, football. So people are either at the stadium or they're sitting in their garages, their man caves, watching what's happening. But here's the thing. When, when the pro games are on, until 4 o'clock, you might have a, a nice, nice, comfy house, basically the store. But once that game is over with, hell, hell comes because they're coming in to uh, get food for the next week for school, for work, everything like that. That's that's when we will we will pull in thousands of dollars within a few moments. Ninety percent of the time, if you see somebody in the store with eight cases of beer, they're going out the door. They're, they're, they're going to make a run for the door. And sure enough, three minutes into getting into my shift and stuff today, we all look up and here's this guy. He might eight, nine cases. And uh, within a split second, he's charging. And if you step in front of that, there's no way to stop eight or nine cases of beer from crashing into your body, bringing injury. And it's one of those things where I go, why can't somebody had to have seen him building this up? Why can't you go up and say something about it? Profiling profiling.
I ask one of our baggers to clean up a mess that's on the main aisle, and uh, he just stands there. I said, no, seriously, we've got we've got to clean up that mess immediately. And uh, he says, well, where is it? So I go over and I show him, and I beat him over there. And he looks at me and he says, you know, for an old man, you're pretty fast. Jesus, are you really 60 years old? Here's a bit of truth and uh, reality when it comes to uh, football on Sundays, and that is is that uh, we've got a home game today with our pro football team, and uh, right now, third quarter, they're down 13 points, so we are now preparing for the big thing, which is uh, people that are leaving the game early, and uh, they're going to they're gonna come to the stores before they go home, because they've got to get ready for a brand new work day, and they've got to get ready for the kids and stuff like that, so even though we're th- three quarters into this, uh, it's, it's, it's game time for us on the floor. We've got more people than carts, and so that means we've got four people out on the the actual lot right now and as they take them out we bring them in take them out bring them in We've, we these these people want carts and they need the big carts because they're shopping on a very very serious role right now i mean it's it's game time for them to to come in here and uh you know get things ready to go for the brand new week but the game is over we lost and uh those people are here this is how big a day like today is these football sundays it's we were we were at forty nine thousand with a projected goal of one twenty seven by closing time at eleven. So we were at forty nine thousand going into this next rush hour where where we were talking about man we got to get that team going right now because the game is over we lost this is this is going to be big. So forty nine thousand and now we're at one hundred one thousand. That's my team out there, man. That's my team. I love them. I love them, man. You hang in there. You don't bitch. You don't moan. You just get them, get them, and make them feel great while they're here. So I'm going to attempt to do this. Actually, I accepted it as a challenge. And that is, uh, why am I not doing a transition walk when I get home? And so I am home. It's 10.30 p.m. And I'm going to try to do this. This is the first time that I've been outside the car since getting into it. And every inch of your body is just killing you. Okay. Transition walk. Do you hear the birds? The crickets? Nature at its best on the gigantic hill. We call this the ridge because we're in a forest right, right on the edge. Um, we, we didn't get to hit our, our big landmark number today. Um, uh, one of the managers said it's because our team lost and people just are not in the mood to buy things when your team loses. But we tried. You know, you can try as hard as you can. Give it your best and you learn from what happened. And then from that point forward, then you, uh, you try to make it a better, a better victory on the next thing. But we, we only missed it by like $1,500.